I'm Angs. I am very glad to be back on this amazing LP of Fire Emblem 7 Hector Hard Mode. Zero percent good strats. This is gonna be the new intro, by the way. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> yes, it is. So, hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Angs, and I welcome you guys back to Let's Play Fire Emblem 7 Blazing Sword Hector Hard Mode uh, Ranked Walk Through. And I am joined here. By the one and the only uh, Don Don. Hi, welcome to the show. Hi, I'm still here, and I have a different voice. Oh and I don't shit. do zero percent growth places anymore. Apparently. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I just decided to to swap out Mecca because you know he was getting kind of bad. Uh, you know, lack of lack of wow. fresh air and, and food. Man's kinda... actually calling someone bad. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Mecca, we actually haven't had a death in two chapters. I just like to point that out. Right. Maybe it's I'm okay. getting better. Huh? We'll fix this. We'll fix this <laughs> in this chapter. Well, we might be we might be right, Mecca, because we are going to chapter 23x, Genesis, and this chapter, well, it's pretty hard. So this is gonna be great. Um, <clears throat> do chapter 33x I still don't know why I'm even here for the voice acting. I it just seems so pointless. Because you can commentate on my oh, voice right. acting. Yeah, dot 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 dot. That's that's right. You're doing Kishina. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh. So this is how this is kind of like a, a lewd scene. Kishina without clothes. I name you Kishona. You are the only morph who am I given emotions. It won't suffice simply to refer to you as a number. It is said man was sculpted by the hands of the gods. If so, then you who were sculpted by these, my hands, and I whose labors gave you breath and life. What are we then? What does that make us? Friends. <laughs> <laughs> In your fabricated heart, which I gave unto you, what is it that you believe, Kishuna? That's Your voice acting is spectacular and it amazes me, Mecca. Also, if Nils is here, why. Oh, wait, never mind. We can fill that. Oh, no, don't let Nils be here, please. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. I really smacked my head that time. Elwood, Lynn, where are you? Hello, we are awake. Are you well? Oh, cool, we get pent this are chapter. Are you a boy or a girl? <laughs> <laughs> you, you're Hawkeye's friend. Say it. Dot, 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 dot. <laughs> where in the world are we? Dot, dot, dot. I don't know. I'm not going to do every dot, dot, dot. <laughs> you don't know how? You don't know? Look at this place. It's terrible, bleak, dreadful. My master never spoke of anything like this. Ah, Lord Hector, I'm so glad you're alive! Where is everyone else? They're nearby, I can't see them, but I can sense them, so they must be okay. Right, that's good. Do you know where we are? I wonder how we get out of here. Don't ask me, I've never seen any place like this before. Something strange is here, I can feel it in the air. <laughs> he rhymes. Yes, you're right, it feels thick! Man. That's just Banks, don't worry. <laughs> must must be Luis's thighs. Right, am I right? Am I right? Luis is not here. But he feels you some, are. he feels something thick, so it, Hey, hey, hey! That's not cool. <laughs> no no fat shaming, Mecca. This strange feeling, I know it. I felt it before. Back on Valor. On the Dread Isle? Hmm. We first felt it in some ruins near the Dragon's Gate. It was a prickly feeling that rubbed us all the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that one time when they told me to free Mecca. <laughs> they, then, suddenly, everyone's magic stopped working. Pent, doesn't that sound like... like a magic seal? What's that? I'm not entirely certain how to explain it. It's someone whose very presence nullifies all magic. Why That's would it... the simplest and most probable <laughs> way to explain it, probably. I don't know how what else you would say about a magic seal, or Kashuna in general. Why it's would... a dude that stops you from using magic. Hmm, let's explain it more in detail. Why would anyone like that be here? Why right now? I have no idea. All I know is that it's convenient to the plot. Oh, something's happening. It's not even convenient to the plot. It's like a <laughs> random side quest that doesn't matter. He He's called some friends. <laughs> ring, ring. Hello. <laughs> please, I'm just please. sure that call friends. Does he, have, like, does he use Morse code? I think he uses Morse code. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. They are very powerful. He summoned them here? It's beginning to suspect the magic cell created this place. If we kill him, can we get out of here? Perhaps. 
I well, hope so. <laughs> we've got nothing to worry about then. As long as I got something I can hit, we'll be fine. I will fight too. Pent, you stay here and guard the- No! Well, I use this Pent anyway. <laughs> That's actually <laughs> a good point. Seal. Understood. Select those who will go with us. And choose carefully. All yeah, right. choose carefully this time, Mangs. <laughs> we'll choose very carefully. So I've already chosen, so I'm going to bring uh, Hector, Hawkeye, Kanas, Priscilla, Ninian, Legolt, Fiora, and Raven. Um, we can you can object later, but so yeah, this is chapter mm -hmm. 20, 23x Genesis. It's a very um, unique chapter. So this in this chapter, you face a lot of really powerful pre promotes, a lot, and they're morphs, so their stats are all higher than their general base classes. Uh, Kishuna is in the middle, aren't they? Aren't morphs stronger? No. <laughs> no, they just not at all, as far as I know. Oh, okay. But they have zero luck, so. Uh, Kishuna. Yeah, but so do, so do generic enemies. <laughs> so what's your point? Uh, Already fact fact checking this Manx guy here, right here. Sh shut up, Micah. Or, so this is this is easier than making like a lot of pitfall videos. <laughs> just fact checking you like right away when it happens. Stop! Stop! Stop being so. Stop being like against net neutrality, Mecca. Sh shut up, shut up. <laughs> so, in this, these are the neutral facts, okay? <laughs> They're just inconvenient for you. So, in this, uh, in Hector hard mode, Kishuna will actually walk around, which will cause the magic still to move a little bit, whereas in the other modes, he stays uh, quiet. Um, he will, I do believe, he teleports out on turn Unlike six. Like me. <laughs> yeah, I would, I would love to put a fucking magic still in you right now, Mecca. So, um, I, I do believe he warps out on turn six. Or whether, or if you attack him, I actually managed to kill him in my uh, previous Hector hard mode playthrough with a crit from Will, which is kind of hard to do because the moment you attack him, he will just teleport away immediately. You won't, you won't even get it a full turn to attack him. He will literally teleport away at the first round of combat, so you only get a single round of combat against him. So you'll need to rig a crit. I didn't rig it; I just got it. So that was kind of, kind of hilarious. Um, and these morphs, I do believe they'll teleport away and some other guys will come out with better equipments. Now, you have to kind of use Kishina's magic seal to your advantage. Uh, you have, as I said, six turns before he leaves. Once he leaves, these guys will start raining shit down on you. There's a sleep staff guy here. Uh, there's a silent staff guy right here. Uh, I do believe there's uh, some long range magic users as well. This guy has yeah, a purge. A purge yeah. And I do believe this guy is a bolting, so you got to get to this guy quickly. Now I do want to bring Kanas for this because he can heal. Uh, he will mostly be useless in the magic field, but you can take advantage. Like you, as long as you can like put Kanas outside the magic field, you should be fine. And his staff utility is going to be very nice. Uh, Raven with a silver sword should be able to deal with the morphs. And I think Fiora with her great resistance will always uh, will also be somewhat useful right here. This is actually one of the chapters where I really regret not getting a pure water, because giving a pure water to Legault or Raven on this side would have been very nice. Because Kanas sadly doesn't have the staff rank to use barrier staffs just yet. Although he's almost there, though. Yeah, almost there. So if I just give him a barrier staff right now, chances are maybe he'll actually get there. I think I have two. So, oh, I have three actually. Nice. You bought him, yeah. Yeah. So Fine. this is great. Like once he gets to men level, can he use physics? No, physics is B. Oh, okay, right, right. Basic fire emblem facts with Manx. All right, so what yeah, do you think, think about? There's, there are games where physics is C, so it's not the worst Manx fact ever, but it's pretty close. Uh, anyway, one thing I want to say about the uh, the morphs or the like specifically the sages, I think it's the biggest issue. Yeah. Is, uh, is once they're inside the magic seal, um, they don't counter attack, so they're pretty easy to take care of in that way. But on the other hand, they don't get weighed down by the tomes, so you need to be pretty fast to double them. Like this guy has 11 speed. Right. And seven so you imagine he would be weighed down a lot by Elfire or Bolting, but instead right. he's not. So that makes him pretty tough to kill sometimes. Yeah. Uh, it's also one of the few chapters, or at least it actually it's one of the first chapters where our promoted wrath is really helpful, which mm. is why I would actually recommend going through the trouble of promoting him over the course of the last few chapters, but of course you didn't, so it doesn't really matter much. But Wrath is really good in a lot of mid-game chapters, and this is one of them, because he can break both through the walls and move very far. It's just a very useful unit for that. But I wouldn't recommend you bring him, because he's level 9. Right, right. Uh, I, I mean, also maybe, I... maybe in like a re-attempt, maybe in like a re-attempt, but okay. for now this is fine. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to give... Uh... Actually, uh, I don't really think I'll need where's the Sword your, Reaver. Uh, it's, it's, on on it's on Hawkeye. It's on Hawkeye. Okay, good. But I, I'll right, need to give a I'll need to give a chest key to Hector. I think I have one. I do you believe I bought a chest key? I'm afraid, I... I'm afraid you don't. What? Unless you like stole it from ah, a thief somewhere. Ah, there we go. Oh, oh wait, it's, where'd it's you my... get that? Oh, you bought one on my recommendation. I remember now. Yep. And uh, yeah. I think this is important because I don't know why he has the devil. 
I love the double X. Uh, and uh, I'll give him a door key because it's nice to have some doors since Legault is on the other side. Uh, that way I won't have to send Legault like first yeah. over here to get this chest and then all the way over here. Now, I do believe you told me, Mecca, that this, this, this chapter is a really high turn count requirements. Speaking of yeah, which... Yeah, I think it's like 25 or something ridiculous. So you should be able to beat it at least. Yeah. So our rankings have climbed up a little bit, and after this chapter, I do believe it will continue to climb because you get a lot of uh, experience in this chapter uh, against the promoted morphs. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, but maybe the requirement is also really high, so you never you can never really tell eh, without that's true. looking at the tables. All right, let's go. So uh, Yay. I've put. Let's move. The faster we beat this thing, <laughs> yeah, let's the, move. The faster we leave. Exactly, Hector. Exactly. <laughs> Don't move. Oh no! What in places? It's the wall. He's <laughs> Trump is here. He's doing it. <laughs> He's watching us from somewhere. That's pretty good. Are you listening? Knave, don't go anywhere. I'm coming. Yeah, boy. Mang, is it? I must see you all safely back to my master. If you have need of it, I will lend you my strength. Nice. I do I do nice. believe we will have need for it. What? Hawkeye's really good in this chapter. Oh yeah, he's like great. That. So I do I do really want to get over here and uh, try to kill that morph before anything else happens. So I'm gonna start breaking down the wall right here and use Ninian. You could have brave axed it with like Hector on turn one and then Hawkeye wouldn't be able to move further or something. But Maybe, but yeah. I have Ninian. So I, I think what I'll do is since there is a bolting stage right here, I'm gonna barrier Ninian up. Because I'm I think he one shots her, I'm not sure. Uh, she has five resistance. He does that guy can't attack though, unless Kishuna moves out of his range. I don't know. I I don't remember what Kishuna does in turn one. Well, in fact, I don't remember anything about Kishuna. Hmm. I remember his lines. <laughs> dot dot dot. Anyway, it's a level up for Ninian. She gets the stats you expect her to get. Seven defense is pretty good for a dancer, actually. Oh no, <laughs> Hector. Hector, no. Yep. Oh well, more experience. This for is us, the first example of a morph that would be like a joke to kill, doubling wise, but. Mm. This is not weighed down, he's actually pretty hard to double. Yep. Alright, so I think what we'll do right now is we'll start breaking down this wall. I think... We don't. We probably want to stay inside... Uh, that's what I thought, but... Mm. I mean, I guess... Can the light if brand even... there, you can attack him, yeah. Yeah. I guess I can just break it down with the light brand. I wonder brand. how much the light brand is gonna do. <laughs> Whether it's gonna be one or zero. <laughs> Something along those lines, yeah. Uh, there we go. We'll send. Yeah, like you can see that like wrath in this spot with like a brave bow being promoted would have been really good because you oh, would yeah. be able to attack the druid. For sure, for sure. Okay, so yeah, Kishona does actually move on the first turn. Oh oh. Hello there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Shit. I can see we're gonna be here for a long time. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, this is one chapter where you want to optimize your turn one to kill as many people as possible early on. Hmm. I, I don't think these moves were optimal. Well, fuck. We'll get there. Yep. Well, fuck. 100 hit. Well, fuck. <laughs> this is one thing that man cannot beat with luck, huh? Fuck. Where's your restore staff? Oh, he's inside the range too. GG. Uh, oh. I think this is a reset. Boy. I think this is honestly a reset. Yeah. Okay. So we want to make sure. Okay. So Hector Bravax <clears throat> probably. <laughs> yeah. I think so too. Just. I okay. don't know who gets who gets to do what in turn one beforehand. Hmm. Otherwise, the preparations don't really make sense. All right, so we'll give the I guess Hawkeye can get the. What's the point of the hammer anyway? Are there some generals, general. I think. Yeah, uh, yeah I, I want to have it. Chapter, I guess. Okay, so if if Hector breaks the wall with the brave axe, I can move in with. I mean, it doesn't really matter, does it? I'm still gonna have to move in. No, with it Hawkeye. doesn't matter on that side because you got Ninian and Priscilla, two completely inadequate units, but. Do you think I you should move over a combat unit there? I could do this, I guess. But yeah, uh, I don't mind Ninian there because she can dance with people and then they can break the wall or something. Yeah, it's but not but, a bad. but look at this. She has 21 health combined, uh, and this guy with the purge, he does 10 plus 4. So he does 24. So he one shots oh, Ninian. Rip. rip. So mm. I don't think she can survive on that side, unless oh, okay. she stays up. So, how but... about changing Priscilla then? But she's going to be with inside the magic barrier all the time, and I have no restore staff user on this side. Oh, rip, 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 rip. Well, I guess you're going to have to do it the, the old way, with Priscilla and Ninian on the Hector side then. That's what I thought, yeah. Yeah. But I still think I, I can do this, you see, because 
If I can break down, that makes one of us. <laughs> just, just give me. I'll, 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 I'll fix this. So, okay. So I think, I think Ninian needs the barrier. Because this guy does 12 damage plus 8. Yeah, de definitely needs the barrier. If, if I don't barrier, she will actually die. I, I think even with the barrier, she's going to take a lot of damage. That's How about you um, break the wall, protect mm -hmm. her, and then you dance Hawkeye so you can oh! kill the guy. Although Hawkeye might not one round. I can actually kill the wall with a hammer. And then I can Brave Axe oh, the nice. guy. Yeah, with... with uh, okay, so Hawkeye can trade, I guess, and then get danced. What do you... Oh, you want Hawkeye to kill the guy? Well, you, or you can kill with Hector if you want. Well, we'll it's probably we'll, better for EXP. Well, the problem but, is this Sleep Staff guy, right? Yeah. Uh, I think Hawkeye has a chance to dodge him if you bury him. But I think if I if I attack... Look, if I attack from this point right here, I don't think he'll reach me. Oh, uh, I guess. He might but have spawned with... Reach? He might have spawned with less magic this time around. Oh, did you restart the chapter? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I think this will be fine. I can do yeah. this. He has, uh... I think even Hawkeye. Doesn't Hawkeye have a door key on him? I can open the door with Hawkeye, so yeah, I don't have to use the unlock so. stuff. <laughs> she got skill! That's the I think he has like 10% growth or something. Something along those lines, yeah. Always right. funny when that happens. Oh, don't miss. Okay, good. Right. Look at that EXP, though. And door key! Okay, I'm, I think I'm gonna yeah. keep this. Um... I don't need the hammer. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> All right, so then we'll use the- oh no! Oh no, the Hawkeye's position is set too, so there was nothing to be done about that. That's it's very not true. A unit you can move in, prep in preparations. Okay, so Whatever. here's the thing. Can I'm a little bit worried about that Perch Bishop, but I think he'll go for all the gold. But at, I, should, I, yeah. Does he move first? Do you, do you remember? Uh, I think he moves second. After the after the Druid, or what? I, no, I think he moves... I don't remember, actually. I, we don't. Oh, we didn't even get to the... No, I don't even remember if the druid did anything, to be quite... I think he's stationary. Uh, no way. <laughs> but I, well, I do remember the, the bishop going for the gold over Raven, and Raven was in, like, a similar position, I think. I think maybe not breaking down the wall in the first turn, instead breaking it down with someone else. I don't know. Ah, actually, come to think of it. It's probably... It's a brand. Yeah. You probably have weapon triangle in, like, whether he goes close or not. That's that's a good point. Weapon triangle is important. <laughs> Not. Oh fuck! He did. What the hell? Ah, I think Raven died. No wait, the Luna Tom does pit now. Wait, he'll die. Or will he? Yeah, these guys have like twenty-two magic. Oh what the? Oh, okay. Kishna moved. Kishna moved. <laughs> Kishna MVP. <laughs> Kishna better than Manx. <laughs> Shut up. All right. So I think what I'll Kishina do now. Also a better voice actor than Manx. Hey. He doesn't say anything. My voice acting is on par, dude. All right, so what I'll do right now... Repeating that doesn't make it true. <laughs> so what I'll do Go right... <laughs> what I'll do right now is... Okay, so this guy... If I move this guy down and kill him... Um, I guess what I can do is oh, I can... Oh, guy's I, gonna get slept. No, what if, I, what if I restore him? No, what if I barrier him? That gives him 17 resistance. That gives him a pretty... I gotta kill the bolting guy. Probably. Or what okay. I can do is I can kill him with the hand axe, or kill him, and then I can move away from the sleep staff guy. Now he's he can sleep all the way over there. That kind of sucks. I think I have no choice to be quite honest because I just need gonna to get barrier. I'm going to barrier, yeah, cuz that will Okay, yeah. I like it. I mean, barriering up Hawkeye is good on this map anyway, right? Yeah. I think yeah, it's one of the ways Donlon did it. I think he really hates this map cuz it's kind of luck based with all the luna crits and uh, sleep staff dodges. Otherwise, you can't really LTC it. Yeah. There might be a reliable way to do it slowly. I'm not sure if this is the one, though. Mm. Yeah, just Devil Axe. Why not? Devil Axe, yeah, why not? What can go wrong, right? Yay. Best crit. <laughs> Even Hawkeye gets experience here. Alright, so Hector... He just really has nothing to do down here, I feel. Maybe we should just Tear go on... down and... another wall. <laughs> yep. Oh, no! Okay, fine. We'll use the Brave Axe, I guess. Uh, a video comes to mind here, actually. The one where... Heck okay, so... Um, Raven I actually... This, I think that's in this chapter 2, that video. Like yeah, 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 it is. Okay, so I, we're actually kind of fucked right here, because Raven... He's gonna get what? killed. Oh. Hmm. oh, I guess, yeah. Because you don't have, you have no way to heal him and attack as well. No. Fiora probably does one round to the Druid. No, I don't think so. I mean, I can, I can pick him up, though, and get him out of there. Yeah. Pick up. 
Um, can Legault rescue Raven? Is um, that a possibility? He can. Okay, so you could rescue drop heal if you want to. Yeah. Well, he'll be slowed down a lot. I think, I mean, but even with 10 speed, he doesn't get double by purge, so he'll be fine. Of course. <laughs> purge dude is like zero AS. Double by purge is like not a sentence that exists in the Fire Emblem universe. <laughs> Unless you're like Dactar and get charged or something. <laughs> Oh, nice one! Nice. I think I think Raven has capped speed now. No, he's. Oh, a... You didn't bring a hero crest, did you? I did not. I should have, shouldn't I? Would have been nice, but you'll probably have to reset at some point. No, we do. What are you doing? Why not rescue with Fiora and then heal him outside the range? Oh, okay. That was oh, my you, idea. Oh, you wanted, oh, what you was wanted... your plan? What was your plan then? Uh, I was going to open up the store and kill this guy with Fiora. Oh, uh, I guess. But then, isn't Raven still in range of the first day, first dude if you do that? Yeah, he is. Fuck. I mean, I can still do this, and then pick him up with Fiora. Yeah, but then he doesn't get healed this, this turn. So you basically can't use him again for like another three turns or something. Ah, that's a good point, actually. All right, I'll do that then. Uh, but here's the question. Can Kanas can't even, he can't even leave the, oh, you want to heal him no, here? I, yeah, that was my that was my idea, which is why I said you will be slowed down a lot. Right. You do it, but it's like safe-ish. Yeah. But safe-ish. It's like not really safe because you're just uh, you're you're delaying the inevitable part where you're where you have to face all these people. Yeah, because he leaves on turn six, so and I think mm -hmm. there is a berserk staff here somewhere. Yes, I know for sure there is. I don't know where it is. I just know it exists because it hits me every time. Yeah. Oh hello. Oh oh, oh. no. Pretty sure the other guys are bolting too, right? Yeah. Oh. See ya, Hector. See ya. Hector, no. No! 59% hit, though. Come on! Yes! Luck-based manks. <laughs> Luck-based manks, indeed. Okay, so... Hmm. Can we get over here? We cannot. Of course not. Ooh, boy. Okay, so we gotta get Hector the fuck away from here. Um, I do want to kill this bishop, though. Actually, I don't really need to do that, do I? Pro, I mean, Hector is like in danger still, right? Yeah, I so... need to. Get, I need to get him out of here, and then I need to yeah. use a physics to heal him up. Nope, I never not... muted my Skype right away. I hope you didn't hear that. Um, I I have my Skype on Sierra, so it doesn't matter what you do. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, so what I think I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to try and get down here. I mean, this guy's gonna try to sleep Hawkeye regardless, so. I'm just gonna try to is get down here. Yeah, is it safe? Yeah. I mean, it's probably as safe as it gets. The problem is Hector, not Hawkeye. Yeah, Hector is the one who's really fucked right now. Alright, I'm gonna try to... Fuck, I don't double. Oh, I can get a crit, I suppose. 52%. I may have to AFK for a little bit. Alright, uh, we, can, we can pause the recording and continue. Okay. And we're back! So, I, while Mecha was gone, I was like, you know what, this strategy sucks, let's try something else. So we've been sitting around in battle preparations a little bit, figuring out how to best do this. So, Mecha uh, proposed we put the body ring on Fiora. This might allow her to double with the Silver Lance, and I think it actually will. Uh, so this is a, probably a good investment for her. It also allows her to not get weighed down by an Iron Lance, which definitely helps her a lot, considering she has 16 speed. We decided to bring Marcus instead of Raven, because Marcus is Marcus and we need our strongest units for this. Uh, it will hurt our experience rank a little bit, but honestly this chapter is just so fucking hard. Uh, we need our best units for this one, but we, we brought Wrath to make up for it. Wrath can use the Brave Bow, which is actually a very good good thing, because it allows... And the Longbow also allows him to chip from our distance to walls, which can actually give us that little bit of extra damage that we need. We also brought the Orange Bolt, uh, we're probably gonna re promote him once he reaches level 10. Then he gets eight move and he'll be a lot less likely to die. Basically, you just gotta get rid of this guy and you gotta get rid of this guy quickly to make your life a little bit easier. Um, but yeah, I also brought this Isadora because Isadora with a silver sword has 16 speed, which is enough to double most of the morphs in this map. Uh, I think she actually doubles everything in this map except for Kishona. So it's Isadora time, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I, I just thought that Ninian was a complete liability, so we decided not to bring her. So this is what I'll do. Uh, I, we can knock down this uh, door on turn one, or I guess we'll do this. Uh, the Steel Axe is actually kind of useful here. I still think Ninian is probably part of the optimal strategy, but uh, this is probably easier. What? She doesn't double. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, does she get way <laughs> down by Silver Swords? No, no she, she does. Oh, she does. Yeah. Two yeah. points! What the f- uh. Buttering on her would have been good. 
Okay, now yeah, that she has like, 14 speed, I'm actually... Oh, fuck, she doesn't double this guy. That was my entire strategy. Every enemy on the map, except the first two. And, like, every other one. Then she's complete trash. What the fuck? Oh, uh, Hector can take air to Druid. Yeah. That's a great back. Well, I guess we can do this still. Alright, fine. I mean, she's still a fast unit, I suppose. And she has a lot of resistance, which is nice. Yeah, these enemies are not rep representative of, like, the entirety of FE7, right? That's... that is a good point. All right, so These are probably the fastest enemies in the game, like, on average, come to think of it. But I do believe that Fiora now doubles this guy, so what we'll do is we'll send Marcus... Um, oh, he can't break down this wall in the first turn, but he did... honestly, he doesn't need to. It's fine. Um, Brad's chip damage comes in handy here. So let's see if uh, Fiora can one round this guy. I was intending for a wrath for that guy, but whatever, yeah. Well, we need to kill this guy now, so... Well, yeah, 12% Lunar Crit, lovely. Will we die? Nope. Okay. This really would have been nice to promote Wrath this turn, because he doesn't really have much else to do. So I guess, I but... I really want to kill this guy. <laughs> yeah, but you could have... I think there was some way to, um... Basically... Ooh! Uh, Ooh. Like, trade around something. To get the kill around. Trade around something. This is a mind selfie. Come on. Oh, okay. I guess. I guess. I stand corrected. <laughs> well. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Meow. Ha. So what I need to do now is I need to fuck. I need to open the door. That's not I good. Need to fuck. <laughs> the things so of vulgar, Mecca. So the problem right now is I think fuck. I should have had an Indian here. Okay. So this is a sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Instant regrets. Okay, all over the place. So I can still Remember when you said the old strategy sucks, but you got further? Yeah, well, we haven't lost yet. Oh, fuck, she's in a Dutch magic zone! No! Time for some rescue chains. Nah, nah, nah. We're fine, dude. Hector can kill this guy. Then I'll kill the other guy with Hawkeye, and then I'll just physics his Adora, and then I'll... Re I think Kishina moves away on the next turn, so we can... Well, we're, we're fine. We're fine, ladies and gentlemen. We'll use the Brave Axe to ensure this guy dies on this turn. You should use, like, the burning house image here. Like, this is fine. <laughs> this is fine. Don't, don't underestimate the Mang strats, okay?